Well, an air quality alert for us here in Northeast Ohio. It's been extended now through tomorrow. It's because of all that smoke that's remaining here from the Canadian wildfires continuing to impact us across the state. Tonight, Jesse Schultz reports on what the unhealthy air means for people who have medical problems. You'll see signs of summer. I brought my granddaughter out with me and we just strolling around all over Lakewood Park. The kids just got off school, so they want to get out and uh, have some fun in the park. Kids playing, people exercising and dogs walking. But what the naked eye can't see, unless you glance over at the hazy skyline, the danger lurking in the air. Those small particles are there and they can penetrate into your lungs and, and cause that damage. Dr. David Rosenberg is the director of University Hospitals Ahuja Lung Center. He says breathing in the air for an extended period of time is not healthy for anyone right now, but especially for people with asthma, COPD, heart disease, and COVID long haulers. And so that haze that's over our city is something that can disproportionately impact us that are battling already. COVID. We first spoke to Ivanka Hall two years ago when she first realized she was one of millions who fall into the long hauler group, still struggling with brain fog, shortness of breath, and many more symptoms till this day. Symptoms made worse by the air quality. This is not allergies. For my eyes to feel like this, for this voice to sound hoarse, um, for me to have um, labored breathing, which you probably hear, you keep hearing me swallow, um, but it's directly related to what's going on in our environment around the fires. She's staying inside as much as she can, wearing her mask and trying to keep those symptoms in check, something Dr. Rosenberg suggests. These small particles can cause an immune reaction in your body, and, and who knows how that's going to affect the long COVID patients into the future. So the, be, be cautious. He says this air affects everyone differently. Mohammed Suida's two daughters have asthma. And we have rescue inhaler with us. So, you, you know, and we use it before uh, any kind of uh, uh, exertion that you want to do. And so far, so good. But he is monitoring them closely for coughing and wheezing as they enjoy the day. There's something to watch for. The sun is shining. And as far as Hall, she is hopeful the air and her worsened symptoms will dissipate as the days go by. Right now what we're seeing is what happens when you have a virus that is still here that is an environmental disaster combined with another environmental disaster. Now the air quality throughout our area is expected to improve over the next few days. But Dr. Rosenberg says if you are in those sensitive groups, it is still extremely important to check the air quality index before going outside. And if you are having severe trouble breathing to immediately call 911. Reporting in Lakewood, Jesse Schultz, News 5.